Hmm, yes, I think this will do perfect for my next video. Okay, so let me get the equipment ready. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Why do you guys keep sneak up on me like this? So, I was doing research on thinking about if I should make a expanding on logarithm videos and I decided to have a go at it because we still have a lot to do about logarithms, uh, about expanding things and properties of logs. So, if you want to know about that, let's go on the board and let's begin. So, let's learn a few properties of logs and get things straight. A very common log is uh, a very common property of log is log x log x base x of x equals to 1. Now this is a very easy one because it's saying what should x be <coughs> ways to to get x. Now this will obviously and without a doubt be x no problem because it's sort of being multiplied one time which is sort of weird i mean it does involve a lot of laws of exponents video for this video so if you hadn't watched laws of exponents then have it in the card because I will be uh, it's up here in the cards because I will be referring to X laws of exponents in this video a lot so make sure to check that video out <coughs> now back to where we are were so this is the first property of logs the second property is log x to the x log base x of 1 will always equal to 0 and only 0 <clears throat> no matter what the base is because x to the 0th power any number to the 0th power would obviously be 1 now and the other property of log is log base b of b to the x equals to x. Now this is simply implying that b to the x equals to b to the x. Because it's saying what should b be ways to to get b to the x? Which here is the answer. B it would have to be raised to x to get b to the x. And similarly, b to the log of log base b of x equals to x we simply cancel out the log and the we cancel out the log and the b because it's basically b times log of b which can cancel out and that will leave an x so it'll be x because this is the exponent that will give the x. Now we will learn to now we will learn to expand and condense logarithmic expressions. I wrote log here for short. Now this part of the video we will dive more into the laws of exponents. So if you haven't watched that video again, again I'm linking it to the cards. Please watch that video if you hadn't watched it already. Because this contains so much about the laws of exponents. I don't think you would do good in missing it. But if you already have watched it or know about it, then you're in so much luck. Because this is basically mostly about laws of exponents, but this time abbreviated to the logarithms. 
So, one of our laws in the laws of exponents is x to the m times x to the n equals to x to the m plus n. Now, if we give it in the logarithmic version, then log of mn, m times n, equals to log of m plus log of n. Now, we will presume the logs mean the 10 or and something like that. So, if we get the example log of 10x, it'll... It can be expanded to say it's log of 10 plus log of x. Now, we all know that log of 10 is always, log of 10 is always 1. So, log, so actually, so we can abbreviate. So we can simplify it down to say this is log x plus 1. Now the base is obviously 10. Um, that's for the, because that's the common base and stuff. Now the other law of exponents is x to the m over x to the n equals to x to the m minus n. Now, the same applies for the log. Now, this is the example. So, this is going to be basically like log of 3 over x equals to log of 3 minus log of x. Now, this is another law of exponent. Now, abbreviating this to logs, will give this. Now this one is a bit of a different one. Now this one gets confused a lot. So this is the original one, log x squared. Now this is the real one, log x squared equals to 2 times log of x. Now this is not and I mean not the same as log of x whole square because that's just log x times log x. Now these differ a lot. Just like the exponents do, of course. <laughs> like. Sometimes I get confused of 2x and x squared, but not most of the time. Now, just as the laws of exponents, but this one has names. So, this one, the one we just sh showed, is the power rule. Now, x, now the log of x. Oh, log of m over n equals to log m over minus log n is the quotient rule and the product rule is the first one I showed which was log m times n equals to log m plus log n so these are the things to keep in mind. Now there is none of my videos that doesn't contain examples. So log base 4 of x over 16, square root of x over 16 y squared. Now to expand this log, Now to expand this log, first we apply the quotient rule. Now we can make this part a group and expand it using the product rule. So this becomes 
this is what we end up with. Now I know there's going to be a plus here, but we can apply the distributive property to make this into a minus. So this is going to be the very long expression. But of course it's not over now, is it? Oh wait, I forgot to give the square root. So we have to also apply the power rule because this can be abbreviated as... Now this can be abbreviated as x over 1 half. So like I said in the beginning of the log, logs that these are just fractional exponents now according to the power rule we have to drag this in here so now the expression becomes so this expression can be expanded as one half of log 4 log base 4 of x minus log base 4 of 16 minus log base 4 of y. Now this isn't the final answer because of this. Oh yeah. Log of 2 is 16 so that's gonna definitely become Oh, and also according to the power rule, we have to drag this in. So this will now become one half of log base four of x minus two minus two log base four of y squared. Now we learned how to make it bigger. Now let's learn the opposite of it. Let's condense the log. Now this one will obviously be a short one. Two plus two log of x. Now for us to condense it, to a one term, both of these have to be logs. Now this is base 10. And we all know that 2, 10 squared equals to 100. So this now becomes log 100. Perfect. Now all we have to do is use the power rule, but in reverse. So now it becomes... This and... As we all know the product rule, we can use that in reverse. So... This will be log 100x squared. Which was... Previously, 2 plus 2 log of x. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. If you want more logger, if you want more algebra videos and trigonometry videos, and calculus is coming soon. And since we are near the end of algebra and trigonometry, that means physics is coming soon. Ooh. And that would be an exciting one. So if you don't want to miss it, then make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And also like this video. You can share this video to people who are interested in this similar subject. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!